Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're going to do this problem, uh, which was actually the bonus question on my uh, probability exam. Um, so uh, I took a course of probability and on the final exam, this was the bonus question. So three points are chosen on a circle randomly. Find the probability that the three arc lengths uh, are the side lengths of a triangle. So let's first of all explain what this question means. So let's say you have some circle. Three points are randomly chosen. Then you have this arc length, uh, labeled A. This arc length, labeled B. And the third one, labeled C. What is the probability that, like, say, maybe when you stretch like these points out, you can get a triangle a, B, C. So, first of all, let's figure out the criteria for a triangle. So, let's label the longest length length. Um, let's choose it to be C, doesn't matter. And we want A plus B to be bigger than C. So, when C is the biggest arc length, uh, or the longest arc length, uh, if this 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 is condition this condition is satisfied, if and only if A, B, and C can make a triangle. So let's understand this criteria, and then we'll understand what what does it mean that they can form a triangle. So let's we have the, these like two points. So maybe say A and B. C is like one of them, the arc lengths. And then A plus B is the arc length from the other side. So let's, um, let's do it like this. So uh, C is like this arc length, and then A plus B is this arc length. Uh, 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 these are just to distinguish them. And we know that there's some, so like, this plus this will just be like the rate, the perimeter of the entire circle. So if we label its radius to be r, this is 2 pi r. So if we want this to be bigger than this, this means that c, or so c, which is uh, this r length, will have to be smaller than pi r. Because if it was bigger than pi r, Th uh, this would be bigger than pi r, and then their sum would be bigger than 2 pi r, but we know it also has to equal 2 pi r, which is impossible. So c is smaller than pi r, meaning that, <laughs> meaning like that a and b, uh, which uh, means that that there is you can't draw a diameter such that like one of the arcs made by the uh, diameter will be entirely contained in C. And which is the same as saying if we draw a diameter from A, it it uh, the arc length from like to the side of B won't be entirely contained in C. So, like, if this was the point B, then, like, this entire side, and then C is obviously the biggest one. And, right, because then, because now this would be A, this would be B, and this thing would be C. And then if we draw the diameter from A, this side is, uh, inside, is like, inside the arc C. So C is bigger than pi r, so it cannot form a triangle. So, but we, but if we exclude the fact that C is uh, the biggest, uh, so, and so what that means, that's the same as saying, if we draw a diameter from A, both of these points would be on like the same side, right? Because if, was again something like this 
then whichever point would be the longest, this, then whichever arc length, then if say AB or AC would be the longest, if we draw the diameter from A, uh, no matter which one, it'll, the longest one, so th this one would be contained in this pi r arc length, so it would be smaller than pi r, and we will be able to build a triangle. But if, I, when we draw the, uh, the diameter, both points, say b and, call this point c, are on uh, the same side, then this is obviously the longest arc, and it's bigger than pi r, which is, uh, which means that we cannot form a triangle. But this is just assuming that when we, that AB or AC are the longest. In reality, AB or AC or BC are the longest. So, we need to cover for the case of, okay, when you draw the diameter from A, so if the point B was like here, you draw the diameter from A, ensure B and C are on different sides, but here, the arc length of BC is the longest. Right, so, the, so this would be A, this would be B, and this thing would be, so this would be A, this would be C, and this the entire thing would be B. So, so we'll also need to cover for the case where BC is the longest arc length, so we also need to check for the diameter of B. So to summarize, um, if we draw the diameter from A, if B and C are on the same side of the diameter, we stop because we cannot form a triangle. If they're on the same side, we draw the diameter from B, and then we see if A and C are on the same side. If they are on the same side, we cannot form a triangle. If they are on different sides, then we've covered for the case where either A, B, or either A, B, or A, C is the longest, or B, C is the longest. And in that case, uh, we have that uh, A, B, and C can form a triangle. Uh, so let's try to understand the probability of that. And now what I'm going to do is to uh, construct a game and which will, which will be equivalent to, to the way we're checking this and will help us figure out the probability of this event. So we start with a circle and we pick the and we pick randomly the point C. It's symmetric, it doesn't matter. Now we pick a random diameter. So we want to pick next the point B. And we'll do it by picking a random diameter and picking one of its edges at randomly. And, do, and we'll do a similar thing for A. A random, <coughs> random diameter and one of its edges. So B will be either here or here, and A will be here or here. Now, uh, we just have to... So now, uh, we have four cases. B is here, A is here. 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 So... Let's do this case. If this is B and this is A, uh, we can see that on the diameter of B, A and C are on the same side. And if A is here, B and C are on the same side of the diameter A. If A and B are here, this is totally fine. This on the diameter of B, A and C are on, this, on different sides, and on the diameter of A, B and C are on the uh, different sides. Uh, and the final case is this point A, this point B, and this is impossible, and this, this doesn't work uh, because the diameter of B uh, A and C are on the same side. So we had four cases, and in only one of them could we form a triangle. And this is true for any two random diameters we pick, and for any random point C. Meaning that, after we like sum or, 
or average these all out, we'll just get the probability of 1 over 4, which is the case where A, B, C are chosen, just that when we, when we do the derivatives A and B, and of A and of B, A and B are on these sides. So the final answer is 1 over 4. And that's it. If you want more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more interesting problems and things like this in the future. And finally, that's it.